Alrighty folks, what is happening? Drew's Farming Life back again today. I am moving to another field. This field's a bog field. This bottom part is apparently the bog. And I, I, I know it's the bog. I've been stuck in here many a time. Uh, but it is dry at the moment, so perfect opportunity to get this done. As you can see next door, this is still basically part of this field. That is the bog as well. Wet patch there. Dad drove through there with a the fert bar a wee while back. And I just kind of went down a little bit. So, but the winter barley is looking very good. I'm pretty much finished that field, the other half of that field. Uh, just a wee drop he'd like to do there, but. Uh, it's getting later on in the day today, so I want to make a start to this field while it is daylight and then I can continue on ploughing when it is night time. So if I get a good start now, yeah, last year I believe I ploughed this way and this year there is a rut here, right at this dike side, so I'm just going to go right up here and then just keep sailing away. The dog is absolutely knackered. <laughs> in, the, in the last field we were in, she was chasing the seagulls. <laughs> I let her out. I let her out a couple of times and she was going daft chasing the seagulls. It was hilarious. But she is gobbed now. <laughs> Aye, let sleeping dogs lie. Right. We'll get going with this and see what footage we can get for you today. <laughs> I'll get the drone up later on once I'm making a midfield and whatnot. Or if it's night time, I might not. Um, we'll just see how we do. Bro. Let's get going. Beautiful. I love it when it turns over like that. some speed up here. to do some adjustments the plow the plow was not performing the way I was wanting it to I don't know why it just decided it wasn't doing the same as what it was next door first two runs looked okay and then the back wheel was too shallow I don't know a different soil maybe it's harder in here so it was maybe putting it too shallow so to adjust the depth 
I'd adjust the depth wheel and then adjust the top length to suit the depth and now the ground is starting to look good again. So anyway. Part of plowing I suppose, gotta keep adjusting, keep it right. Crumbly and dry, look at that. There's even stoor lifting after it turns over. I know it's not the straightest, but it's getting there, okay? Enough of the criticism. <laughs> I've ordered a new camera. It's coming tomorrow, so I'll get it going. Um, this is what I was using before. The DJI, right. the DJI Active 2, I believe it was called. It was really good, but I don't think the sensor on it was that great. It's quite dark sometimes. I'm actually finding the old GoPro is uh, working better in low light conditions and this and that, and focuses better, quicker. Uh, when I'm editing my videos, it looks like it's producing a better camera image quality in the sense of lightness. Might not be as sharp, but at least you can see what's going on. Um, so I've got the Hero 10 coming. A wee bit of an investment, but I believe it's the right one if I'm going to continue doing this YouTube channeling thing. So. Tomorrow, let's see if the image quality changes like that or not. <laughs> um, we're recording in 4K on this old GoPro, um, and uh, I will see what the difference is. So we shall. Like that, when it was on 4K, was really good, but overhead, so I had to put it down to a different quality. So uh, wasn't that impressed with it. It was really good though, because it magnets onto everything, but that was about it. Um, ease of use, very good, this and that, but you really need your camera to be reliable. Otherwise, it's a struggle to make good content, isn't it? I am actually very happy with how I've set the plough up. It's turning over beautifully, and it's matching up with the previous ploughing. But the sky rats are back and Maggie's desperate for another go at them. <laughs> she nearly had one. <laughs> Opened the door and just popped her out. <laughs> They're all gone. <laughs> you don't get any. Maggie! Come on, you! Here! What are you saying? That looks really good. I'm happy with that. Plows at a right angle to the soil. Every mole board's taking the same. This is this is what annoys me about it. This back fur does get fair mash for this these big tires, unfortunately. hundreds on the back it's still just a little bit too much at that but doing with what we've got for the moment always wanted a massive mole boards for the plow that I can't remember what they were called are they number 28s or something they were good for the 710s and that so they were doing good for this 
but there's plenty of metal yet on it, so do that will not be happening for a wee while. Maggie, come on. So last night I was getting on pretty well with the ploughing in the bog field and uh, one slight problem occurred. <sighs> And of course today's Sunday, so the garage doesn't open. So the land wheel decided I'm not going to work anymore and popped. Uh, I don't know, might have got a puncture. And... Something's happened anyway, it's popped, something's pierced it. Or... So I've checked the pressure before I started and now it's, it's went flat when I've been ploughing. Now it's come off the rim. Well, it's on the rim, but it's popped the bead, so I'll need to take it off the rim. Uh, here, look at the inner tube and repair the repair the inner tube if I can. If I can. <laughs> Just a uh, tire levered half the tire off to get the inner tube out, and uh, yeah, that's a valve. Just it turned with it getting flat, and uh, yeah, ripped the valve off. So need a new inner tube. On a Sunday, no ideal. Finally, I can't remember if I've seen that as a trick somewhere once. But it's definitely a trick I needed to remember. Get this tire on. Wake up in the morning and the head is in a mess I said the dog is on the window, the cat is on the floor Everyone is having a party on the moor They're up all night until the feet get wet Wake up in the morning and the head is in a mess And that's the way we do it, the way we do it in the Western Isles And that's the way we do it, the way we do it in the Western Isles Dancing on the hill, the girls are doing a high and fling You pick up all the rubbish and you put it in the bin Cause if you don't then that's a sin I said you're rolling on the heather and you're dancing on the hill The girls are doing a high and fling You pick up all the rubbish and you put it in the bin Cause if you don't then that's a sin And that's the way we do it, the way we do it in the West and I And that's the way we do it, the way we do it in the West and I Accordions and spin, so that's the way we like our tune Five o'clock till three a.m. That's the way it's always been. Guitars, accordions and spin, that's the way we like our tune Five o'clock till three a.m. That's the way it's always been. 